In today's video, we're gonna go over the best method for farming the EV reducing berries in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So just after Scarlet and Violet dropped, we did a video on farming berries and it was utilizing the area in East Province Area 2 where you could wander around the area and collect the berries that were dropped primarily in that area. These are the Pomeg Berry, the Kelpsy Berry, Qualop Berry, Honju Berry, Grepa Berry and Tomato Berry. These berries respectively reduce an EV in a specific stat by 10 EVs every time you use it on a Pokemon. So if you've got a Pokemon with maximized EVs in one stat, which would be 252, you'd need to use a maximum of 26 berries to remove the EVs from that Pokemon. Now we've all had situations where we might have made a mistake EVing up Pokemon or we want to use one of our Pokemon that we used in our playthrough in competitive or for raid battles or something along those lines but you want to redo the EVs. The only way to remove them currently in the game is by using these EV reducing berries. Now using the method of collecting berries from East Province Area 2 can be a little time consuming and the yield is not brilliant. But there is another method that you can use in the game and that is going to be utilizing the auction house in Porto Marinada. So once you are in your game, you want to head over to Porto Marinada and head down to the auction house. There will be three auctioneers that will offer up three different items which do change with every in-game cycle that goes by. Now for those of you that don't know what an in-game cycle is of one whole day in-game, it is the equivalent of 72 minutes in our real world if that makes sense. And every time that happens the items with these auctioneers will change but one of the items that you can get from the auctioneers is these EV reducing berries now a way to farm quickly to get these EV reducing berries to appear with the auctioneers is by come to the auctioneer house and none of the vendors have these EV reducing berries come away just to this point at the entrance of the auction house and then just drop a save and you want to just close your game down and close it completely then you want to come down into your system settings, into system, into date and time. Make sure that your clock via the internet, the synchronization is off. Then come down into your date and time and change the time forward by 72 minutes. So it'd be one hour and then the minutes would be 12, right? So just to make it easy for those of you out there. Once you've done that, click OK and then come back and reopen the game. Now, when you come back into the game, you're going to go to approach the auctioneers. When you get close to them, you'll see the items that they're selling that day pop up. If none of the items that these auctioneers are selling are the EV reducing berries, all you need to do at this stage is just shut your game. So just shut it completely and then reopen it. Now, you don't need to change your date at all at this stage. Once you've done that initial date change, you can just keep closing the game and opening it. And every time you reopen the game, these items will change. So you want to just repeat this process till you get one of the six EV reducing berries in the auctioneer house. And as you can see here, we've got the Pomeg berry this time. So you want to just go over to the auctioneer and enter the auction. Make sure you've got a bit of money behind you, at least 200,000 polka dollars. This should allow you to kind of farm through all six EV reducing berries once you get them. Now, this is the important point for farming these berries over and over again. The point is once you have found an auctioneer with one of these EV reducing berries and you've won the auction, you want to come back to the same point that you were at before and drop a new save. Now, every time you drop a new save after winning an auction for these berries, you need to change the time once again because you can't just close your game and open it again because you're opening it where you've kind of already won an auction. So you're not going to get any items changing. So you're going to have to close your game once you've dropped that save after winning the initial auction and then come down and repeat the first process that we went through coming down into your date and time and then move your clock forward by 72 minutes again. Now you can reopen the game, start the game again and approach the auctioneers and you'll see that the items in the auction house will have changed again. Then you want to just repeat the process of closing your game. Don't change the time from this point on and then open it up and then just check the items every time you come back into game. If the items that you're looking for aren't there, shut the game down completely and then reopen it and repeat this process until you find that next EV reducing berry item with one of the auctioneers. 
then do the auction, save the game again, move the time forward 72 minutes, and then repeat the process over until you find that next EV reducing berry on one of the auctioneers. And of course, while you're doing it, you might get lucky as well and get one of these special Pokeballs in the process. We were actually pretty lucky to get a Dream Ball while we were doing this, but it did cost us quite a bit of money, but it was worth it, it was worth it. Now, there are some caveats to this that I wanted to go over. One of them was a comment on our previous video where someone claimed that having a Pokemon with, that requires an Evolution Stone, if you have that in your party, it disrupts the items that you would get from the auctioneers. Now, I tried this with a Growlithe in my party for the longest time and I didn't get any real issues. The item still changed every time I did it. And the other thing that was mentioned in that was if your Pokemon is damaged, so if it needs a potion or anything like that, then that will conflict with the items that are spawned by these auctioneers every time you close down the game and start it again. Uh, and Moo Moo Milk or a Super Potion will be one of the items that's always in the auction house because of this Pokemon in your party. Now I tried both of these methods and I didn't have any success in having the healing item or the evolution stone spawn every time when I did it with these Pokemon in my party. So I don't know whether that is true or whether that person just had extremely bad luck. Um, but the, the thing is, I would say just to be safe, to make sure, just have a Pokemon in your party that is healed up and doesn't require any evolution stones. So you don't even need to think about this as something that does conflict with that. Just for context of this video, I did this for about an hour and 20 minutes and I was able to get over 200 berries, if not more, in every single one of these different berry categories. You've got the Pomeg berry that reduces the HP by 10 EVs every time you give it to a Pokemon. Kelpsy berry reduces attack EVs by 10 every time you use it. Twilight reduces them by 10 defense EVs. The Honju berry reduces by 10 special attack EVs. The Greppa berry is the one that reduces by 10 special defense. And then the more rarer one I found, the harder one to get in the auction house is the Tomato berry, which reduces the speed EVs by 10 every time you use it. So as an example of how you would use these EV berries, you can get a Pokemon, say this Dragonite here that I've used for VGC battles this season. It's got an EV spread that I wanna probably update when I go into regulation C or regulation D later this year. So what I need to do is put it in my party. You can see that it's got 252 HP, 252 attack. Well, I wanna remove all of those. So I'm gonna need to use 26 Pomeg berries that will reduce all of the EVs from the Dragonite that it's got in its HP stat. And then I want to use 26 Kelpsy Berries, which will remove all of the EVs in that attacking stat. And once I've done that, I've got a completely blank slate to use so I can re-EV the Dragonite. It doesn't mean I need to go out, catch another one because this one is a shiny. So I'd kind of like to use it going forward and using these berries, utilizing them and being able to get them so quickly in game, using the auction house really gives new life to old Pokemon that you've kind of EV'd or Pokemon that you've had from playthroughs that you want to EV again. You can remove all of those EVs that are maybe not as optimal as you would like them to be for the jobs that you've kind of got for them going forward and then give them a new lease of life. And the berries that you're gonna be able to obtain through this method that we've covered in today's video is gonna be really quick, really useful. You're just gonna need a little bit of money and a small amount of time, and you're gonna have a lot of success doing this in your game. So that's everything for today's video, friends. It is a bit of a quicker video, but a very effective method to resetting for these EV reducing berries. And of course, while you're doing it, you might get lucky as well and get one of these special Pokeballs. So if you do get any special Pokeballs when you're doing this method, please let me know down in the comment section below which one you got and were you successful and how much pain it cost you to, to get it because they are very expensive when you do come across them, but exclusive items. But like I say, I hope you found today's video useful. Good luck farming these EV reducing berries for your teams or builds or whatever you're doing. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do drop a like. It really does help the video, the channel out and make sure you subscribe so you stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.